Red Sparrow is an intense espionage thriller featuring Jennifer Lawrence as Dominika Egorova, a former ballerina turned Russian spy. In a world filled with secrets and deception, Dominika's loyalty and skills are pushed to their limits. The narrative unfolds by shifting between the lives of two main characters in Russia. Firstly, we meet Dominika Igorova, a renowned ballerina responsible for caring for her ailing mother. After arranging for a caregiver, she heads to the theater for work, where she undergoes her routine transformation with makeup and attire. Among the guests is her uncle Ivan Igov, the deputy director of the Russian Secret Service, who introduces her to Dmitry Ustinov, a Russian gangster. During the performance, tragedy strikes when her dancing partner unexpectedly injures her leg. Dominica is rushed for surgery, setting the stage for her journey. Meanwhile, the story introduces Nate Nash, a CIA agent who deciphers a message leading him to a secret meeting location. Armed and cautious, he heads to the designated park for the covert rendezvous. However, he realizes he's being tailed by a car. In the midst of this, he encounters a mysterious man known as Marvel, and they exchange an item discreetly. To escape the pursuing car, Nate creates a diversion by firing his gun into the ground, allowing him to seek refuge at the American Embassy. Despite securing their asset, Nate faces consequences for his actions and is ordered to return to the USA by his superiors. The following day, Ivan visits Colonel Zakharov, the director of the Secret Service, accompanied by General Vladimir Choi. They present Ivan with a video of Nate's meeting in the park, revealing him as a CIA agent who left the country that morning. However, their primary focus is on identifying the other individual involved in the exchange. The narrative then shifts to Dominica awakening in the hospital to find her leg encased in a metal frame. The devastating realization that she may never dance again brings her to tears. Three months later, still reliant on a cane, Dominica receives a visit from Ivan. He informs her that the theater has found her replacement and that financial support for her mother's medical expenses and apartment will cease. Ivan offers his help and leaves an envelope for her. Opening it, Dominica discovers incriminating pictures indicating her former dancing partner's romantic involvement with her replacement. The enclosed recording suggests he deliberately caused her injury. Enraged, Dominica confronts her former partner and successor in the theater's steam room, physically attacking them with her cane before fleeing. On her way home, she witnesses her blood-stained hands and decides to report her actions at a payphone, framing them as an accident. Upon arriving home, she finds her mother on the bathroom floor with the caregiver absent. Left with no alternative, Dominica seeks her uncle Ivan's assistance, who agrees to help on the condition that she assists him in a case. That very night, Dominica arrives at the hotel where Ustinov is staying, wearing a dress provided by Ivan. She waits in the bar for Ustinov to initiate contact, which he eventually does. Dominica tells him she seeks to feel special once more, and they leave for her room. Requesting privacy from the guards, Dominica and Ustinov begin to undress, but their encounter is abruptly interrupted when a helmeted man appears behind Ustinov and slits his throat. Dominica is thrown a coat to conceal her blood-stained body, and the enigmatic intruder guides her out of the room through a concealed exit. Subsequently, a man shoots an innocent employee in a parking lot before taking Dominica on his motorcycle to an abandoned building. Inside, he reveals himself as Sergei Materin, another Secret Service agent sent by Ivan. Meanwhile, in another room of the building, Choi and Ivan watch Dominica on security cameras. There's a debate about Dominica being a witness, with Choi suggesting eliminating her while Ivan sees potential usefulness in her. Ivan switches rooms to talk to Dominica, admitting that he knew what would happen in the previous room but kept her in the dark. He offers her a choice, 
undergo training at a special institution, to become an agent or be left without his protection. Dominica accepts. A couple of days later, Dominica departs for the institution, where she's greeted by Matron, the headmistress of Sparrow School. Matron assigns Dominica a new identity and takes her to her room. Classes begin shortly after, with Matron discussing the world's turmoil and Russia's willingness to make sacrifices. The students are being prepared to become sparrows, specializing in seduction and psychological manipulation. In one class, Dominica and a fellow student, Victor, are asked to strip. While Victor complies easily, Dominica hesitates, earning a scolding from Matron for her reluctance. The narrative shifts to Nate, who receives a summons from the CIA's disciplinary panel and learns of his suspension due to his actions in Russia, coupled with the restriction that he cannot leave the country. Nate protests, emphasizing his three-year partnership with their mole, Marble, but his pleas are dismissed. Meanwhile, at Sparrow School, during a class with Matron, students are tasked with identifying their target's desires. Videos serve as examples, and when Victor guesses incorrectly, Dominica corrects him, leading to his resentment. In another instance, a female student is asked to perform an act on a man restrained in the classroom, but breaks down, highlighting the necessity to learn emotional control. Matron then imparts basic education techniques. In the USA, Nate notices he's being followed and informs his superiors. They agree to let him contact Marble to prompt Marble's reappearance, as there has been no recent contact. Nate will not return to Russia, but will be relocated to a nearby country with a team at Sparrow School. Dominica interacts with returning soldiers, choosing a young man to educate. Later, she defends herself against an attack from Victor in the washroom using a water tap as a weapon. In Russia, Ivan, Choi, and Zakharov discuss Nate's relocation to Budapest. To take action without seeming antagonistic to the USA, Ivan suggests assigning the mission to someone else. Back at Sparrow School, Matron and Choi question Dominica about her altercation with Victor. Matron discerns potential in Dominica while Choi requests a private conversation. Later, Dominica returns to class and impresses Choi by accurately determining a student's desire. She is then called to meet Ian at a restaurant, where he outlines her next mission, to befriend Nate in Budapest, gain his trust, and uncover the mole's identity. After receiving a new identity, she departs for Budapest and shares an apartment with Sparrow Marta. Following a meeting with her new superior, Station Chief Maxim Volov, Dominica requests information about Nate and begins shadowing him to learn about his daily life. The next day, Dominica joins the same swimming pool as Nate, allowing him to approach her. As they leave, they engage in conversation, but Nate has already seen through her disguise and is aware of her true identity. He reports her actions to his superiors and gains approval to gather intelligence by getting closer to her. After updating Volov and visiting the embassy, Dominica uncovers Marta's involvement in buying intelligence from Stephanie Boucher, an American politician. She also receives a copy of a report indicating she has made an adversary. Dominica follows Volov to a bar and manipulates him into assaulting her, capturing the incident on security cameras. She threatens to take the recording to the police unless he submits a better report. Meanwhile, Nate waits for their date at a restaurant but leaves, thinking he's been stood up. He receives another coded message revealing the word Vienna. Dominica arrives at his door, sharing a drink and disclosing her encounter with violence. In their discussion, Nate advises Dominica to reflect on their desires. The next day, Ivan visits Dominica to assess her progress with Nate, who is becoming impatient. To buy more time, Dominica fabricates a story about collaborating with Marta on the Boucher case and requests additional funding, which Ivan grants. After Ivan departs, Marta confronts Dominica with a gun, having overheard the lie. 
Dominica promises Marta credit and more money, explaining that her lie was a tactic to buy time. Marta reluctantly agrees due to lack of alternatives. Later, Dominica travels to Vienna to open a bank account, while Marta discusses her plan to eliminate Dominica with Volov. That night, Dominica returns home to find Marta's lifeless body in the bathtub. Suddenly, Sergei appears, warning her about the consequences of sharing secrets and instructing her to call the police before vanishing. The focus then shifts to Nate, who reports to his superiors about meeting Marble in Vienna. Marble provides evidence confirming Dominica's status as a sparrow, making her a more attractive asset to Nate. Meanwhile, Dominica is questioned by the police but remains tight-lipped. Upon leaving the police station, she encounters Nate waiting for her. They return to Nate's apartment, where he reveals his knowledge of Dominica being a sparrow. She shares her personal story, emphasizing her concern for her mother's well-being. Nate suggests she become a double agent with the promise of protection, and Dominica accepts. They become intimate that night. The following morning, Dominica agrees to Nate's offer and resumes her routine, crafting a fake report on Nate to maintain her cover. Returning to her apartment, Dominica awaits Nate's signal, which comes in the form of a phone call playing her favorite song. She later meets with Nate's superiors, passing a lie detector test to prove her trustworthiness. They agree to provide funds as she requested. The following Friday, the team heads to London to meet Stephanie Boucher. Dominica stays in a CIA-prepared hotel room with surveillance cameras and concealed discs for exchange. While waiting for Boucher at the hotel bar, Dominica is surprised by Volov's unexpected arrival. To avoid alarming Boucher, she guides Volov to her room. Upon Boucher's arrival, Dominica introduces herself as Marta's emissary. Initially displeased with the change, Boucher contemplates leaving. However, Dominica persuades her to stay by alluding to sensitive photographs and mentioning the money. They go to Dominica's room where Volov awaits. Boucher exchanges the discs for money, believing Dominica is verifying their authenticity on her computer. In reality, Dominica swaps the discs with the CIA. Afterwards, she and Volov leave, instructing Boucher to wait an hour before departing. An anxious and intoxicated Boucher leaves early and is fatally struck by a truck. Dominica and Volov receive the news in their car, with Volov revealing their orders to return to Moscow and confiscating Dominica's passport. Back in Moscow, Ivan takes the discs from Volov and has him arrested. Dominica and Volov come under suspicion for assisting the Americans. Despite enduring various forms of torture and witnessing Volov's execution for lying, Dominica refuses to divulge information. Ivan takes over the interrogation, but Dominica skillfully manipulates him into ensuring her protection. She's allowed to return home, but cannot embrace her mother due to feeling contaminated. Following a challenging meeting with Chi and Zakharov, Ivan returns home to find Dominica waiting. He informs her that her request to continue working on Nate has been granted. After a kiss, she leaves for Budapest. There, she meets Nate and heads to his apartment. They become intimate. But in the middle of the night, Dominica hears a commotion and discovers Sergei torturing Nate. Initially feigning allegiance with Sergei, she assists in hurting Nate to extract the mole's identity. However, when Serge is momentarily distracted and slips, Dominica seizes the opportunity to stab him. The next day, she wakes up in the hospital and leaves her room to smoke. She is approached by Choi, who reveals himself as Marble. Fearing capture, he urges Dominica to expose him, enabling her to become a national hero and take his place as a mole. Dominica refrains from providing a definite response, but after his departure, checks on Nate and eventually surrenders herself to the police. Upon meeting with the Russian ambassador, she requests to contact Zakharov and discloses that she possesses the mole's identity, which she will provide in exchange for her freedom. A meeting is arranged later that night at an airport for the exchange. 
Nate will walk alongside her to verify the mole's identity, and she must not attempt to flee, as any such attempt will result in her being shot. Though angered by her actions, Nate agrees to her terms. During the exchange, Nate is taken aback by the revelation that the mole is not Choi, but her uncle Ivan, who has been framed by Dominica since her initial arrival in Budapest. Nate quickly realizes the truth and confirms that Ivan is the mole. After the exchange, Ivan is shot by a Russian sniper, and Dominica is extracted via helicopter. Back in Russia, she is hailed as a heroine and granted a good life with her mother. The movie concludes as Dominica receives a phone call, with the only sound on the line being her favorite song. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting movies. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay awesome.